Hi, I'm Phil. Welcome to Holy Habitus. This year, sporadically, I'm going to vlog on the topic of supernatural hospitality. Um, just because uh, one of the emphases that I feel the Spirit has kind of placed in my heart for this year um, has been this theme of friendship. I want um, to grow in friendship uh, with others and friendship with God through prayer as well. And, uh, and sometimes as evangelicals, we can become overly fixated on tasks and projects and programs in our own personal spiritual walk with God but also um, in terms of our corporate life together and uh, and we can become quite formulaic and uh, and lose the sort of the heart of things the the uh, the spontaneous and organicness of of the the Jesus phenomena and um, in our home group that, that meets in our house last week we looked at the topic of, of the Acts 2 church and this wonderful vibrant community which was characterized by I guess passion that was bubbling over they devoted themselves to the apostles teaching to the breaking of bread and to to prayer and it says they were in and out of the temple every day and in and out of each other's homes sharing meals having things in common you know that our lives were over over overlapping there were there was a kind of a, a, a rich fabric of community that was hugely compelling and vibrant and no doubt contributed to the the fact that they were growing in number every day and uh, sometimes as church communities we can become so task focused and oriented that we forget that actually uh, there needs to be that kind of friendship and community and overlapping of lives um, in order to be a compelling and enriching community uh, that um, non-Christians look at and say that's different that's something supernatural about them supernatural about their hospitality supernatural about their friendship is beyond natural and it's rich and compelling and I want a part of that and uh, someone once uh, used the analogy of how, how as community Christian community we can sometimes either be like a jar of marbles or like interconnected honeycomb that sometimes we we get into this this routine of being like kind of discreet um, independent autonomous units like marbles in a jar you take one marble out it doesn't affect any of the others that's not inter interdependent community that's kind of individualism and actually Christian community this person said should be more like the the hexagonal bits in a honeycomb that you know where one honeycomb ends is actually another and if you take one of the hexagons out it actually rips the side off another of another because they are so interconnected that it's integral to their life that they are relational and uh, and uh, and knitted together and and we have that kind of fabric as a community that's something different isn't it that we hold out to the the church to the to the world as the church and so this week be thinking about how can you practically demonstrate that kind of community as a home group we were talking about uh, would it be great if we just shared breakfast spontaneously with each other more often or had meals together we're in and out of one another's homes had time without agenda just to pursue friendship together how might you do something similar um, this week who could you invite over um, who could you drop round on who could you go for coffee with who could you express friendship to how could you build community to God's glory this week